I uh, I spent mm, ter seven terrible years in my life. Can you, like everybody else? I mean, this story is the story that everybody can tell you. Exactly the same, you know, more or less. But it is exactly the same story. Mm -hmm. You know, they have been trying to overcome the problem uh, using uh, technical knowledge, but obviously it doesn't work because we, uh, in my view, um, I, in my view, was ignoring that I was a person before being a musician. And that was my fault. I mean, that was the, my mistake, my main mistake. I was not considering the human being, the person. I was just considering the musician, you know? And the musician is always practicing from an, a technical standpoint. I don't like this attack. I have to improve the attack. I don't like this slur. I don't know how I am frowning the lips uh, to go to the upper register. I don't know. I don't know how to loosen my lips in order to play in the lower register. I don't know this. I don't know that. You know, this is a, a very a technical approach. You know, but I was forgetting about myself. I was forgetting about how I was taking it. Because obviously, if I, uh, when I uh, took the instrument. All my personality uh, was experimented a radical change. I was not the same. Mm -hmm. I couldn't recognize myself when I was playing the, the, the instrument to the, to the man that I was when I was not playing the instrument. You know? In fact, I was, I was saying to myself, Joaquin, you are like uh, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That bad, it really felt... Exactly, that's how it felt. Because when I was Mr. Hyde, I didn't remember anything about Dr. Jekyll. But when I was Dr. Jekyll, I didn't recognize Mr. Hyde. It was just incredible. You know, when I was not playing the instrument, I could do absolutely everything. But when I uh, got to play the instrument, I couldn't think of anything. I was absolutely the same. But I was, I was just changing my personality. I was feeling very badly when I was going to play the instrument, and I felt very well when I was not going to play it. So, obviously, uh, uh, as time elapsed, I didn't want, I really didn't want to play. Mm. I was creating a reaction towards the, the fact of playing. I didn't want to play. I was pushing myself to play because I, I, I had to make a living out of it. But in fact, from an inner standpoint, from an, an emotional standpoint, I didn't want to play. In fact, and obviously that uh, that uh, that assumption uh, was revealing through our body by that uh, repressed uh, muscular activity. You know, I wanted, but I wanted from a rational standpoint, but I felt that I didn't want it. You know, and uh, that if we have to fight our emotion from a rational st a rational standpoint, it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible because we. We don't do what we think, we do what we feel. Mm. And that's what we have to take into account. You might want to play, you might want to do something from a rational standpoint, but your emotions will allow it or not. That's the point. That's why I always say that emotions are the vehicle of thoughts. If that thought uh, gets into a right emotion, it will go into action perfectly with no interferences, you know. But if that thought in, uh, gets into a wrong uh, emotion, it will never reach the destiny. Never. Hmm. So, from a cognitive standpoint, we are planning well. The, from a technical standpoint, we are planning perfectly what we want to do. But then we come across a wall, an emotional wall, wall that, you know, stops the idea. So we uh, are able to create a good idea, but that idea cannot project into action mm -hmm. because it needs uh, the support of the emotion of, or of the feeling. That was the point. So and I think that's exactly what happened, happened to me. And you know, just, uh, you know when, when this man f made me feel so badly, when my self-confidence was destroyed, when, when my self-esteem was destroyed, it was really disgusting to play the instrument. I had to make a huge effort every day to just take the instrument because I was, I think that I was going to, this was like, like a bullfight, you know, and I said, oof, this, this bull is going to, to kill me, 
you know, and I didn't want to, to see the instrument. That is exactly what happened to me. I mean, I was living a very short, but very stressful, very intensely stressful period in 15 days that destroyed all, all my neutrality. So Wakian was playing without any problem before the drastic change in his technique. Do you know the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, comes to mind. In the next film, we'll be finding out how Wacking cured himself of focal dystonia.